Hey guys, welcome back. Another episode here of Banish the Doubt. I just want to take a moment and talk about, you know, I was thinking, sitting here thinking about our thoughts and how so vitally important it is to not have any thoughts slip by our conscious mind. So when I'm saying this, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I would like for you to think of your day, how it started out this morning, and how your day went. So it's sitting, I'm sitting here in this warm afternoon, it's about 7.30 in the evening, <clears throat> and think about your day. What did you do today that was different than yesterday? And when I say that, I don't mean with respect to your job or what have you. I'm talking about what did you do for yourself today that was different than yesterday? How was your thinking different today than it was yesterday? How often did you stop today and catch yourself with a thought and said, ah, wait a minute, that thought is the type of thought I don't want to have in my experience. You see, because thought and time are tied like this or in a marriage. And Neville put it so succinctly. He said, thoughts never go to the past. They always advance into our future to confront us, either spent or invested. Now, obviously spent goes towards the what did you do today that was different than yesterday how was your thinking if your thinking was similar to the day before then it was spent if your thinking from the day before was similar to the day prior to that and the day prior to that and the day prior to that and the day you see what I'm getting at if it's invested when we are conscious of those thoughts and we recognize the thoughts that are similar to the day previous or thoughts similar to the ones that have us in the situation where we're in. You see, because most of those thoughts, in fact, I would say all of those thoughts are nothing more than programmed type of thinking that we are unconscious of. So I'll give you an example. I know of a lady where my son's in my son's school who is about to have a new boss at her job. Her previous boss is retiring. And the principal came to her, and they're they're friendly. Um, they're friendly outside of work. The principal and this girl and said to her, Hey, um, are you okay with like a bossy, you know, new boss that's bossy? Now, I want to stop for a second, just pause. The fact that I just mentioned that, when I said she's a bossy, or this new boss is a bossy type of boss, that elicited a image in your mind. And this image in your mind that was elicited was a, is a programmed thought. So, I, going on with the conversation, the lady said to her, uh, yeah, okay, but she better not tell me what to do. You see, in that response is a programmed set of emotional responses. Like I've said before, at, from age, at age 35, we then become, we, we then have 95% of who we are is a memorized set of emotional reactions, hardwired thoughts, behaviors, and perceptions. So again, if your perception was somebody who is nasty or hard to deal with, those are hardwired thoughts that have been programmed inside of you. She could, you know, as we start to understand and become more conscious of her thoughts, she could have caught herself and said, wait a minute, 
That's the old consciousness. That's the old me. The ego part of me jumping up and saying, no, 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 no. Nobody tells me what to do. I know it all. I don't need anybody telling me what to do. And yet, oftentimes, people like this wonder why they find themselves in a loop. This ever never-ending loop in life. But because we never stop to think, well, wait a second, or learn, or become ignorant to the fact that this is how we've been programmed to think. So, we bring it back to the present moment. What are you thinking just listening to me now? As I'm talking to you, I can hear this airplane about to fly overhead. You probably, you're probably going to hear it here in a second. In fact, I'll stop talking for a second. <clears throat> now, you're listening to me. I'm making this video, and I can, I can pay attention, or I can, my mind sort of splits and goes to that, went to that airplane as it was flying overhead. So just for the fact that I was able to sort of divide my thinking to making this video and also to pay attention to that airplane tells us that we can, yes, we can become conscious of what is taking place <clears throat> while we're engaged in a conversation. So this is vitally, vitally important that we become conscious of the unconscious thoughts feelings and emotions within our life that drive our life we become conscious of those thoughts that have been unconsciously programmed within us also very very important starting tonight if you want to do this and for the next 21 days pen and paper write down positive affirmations it could be anything. It could be now I am in a beautiful romantic relationship. Now I'm in my perfect job. I am now generating enough income to easily pay all my debts and have much money left over. Whatever it may be, I am now driving the car. I can see the car that I've always wanted to drive. I'm now driving it. Whatever it may be. Here's the reason for the 21 days. It has been scientifically proven that if you do this for 21 days, on a cellular level, we change our DNA. You see, but we've been, we've been conditioned again, programmed to think, well, if it's not gonna happen, you know, by next week, then you know, I'm giving up. Or we'll start tomorrow, the, the ever-present tomorrow, I'll start tomorrow. <coughs> um, Bashar talks about this. He, he, he talks like this. He says, whatever excites you, whatever is something that gets you excited in the moment that you feel something, follow that excitement. So if talking about positive emotions or affirmations excites you right now, you may want to start jotting down some positive, positive affirmations as we're speaking, as I'm talking to you. Just the act of doing that sets you apart from so many, so many others. It's not so much that you're going to be better than somebody else or sep separate yourself, but just the fact that you take action by becoming aware of your thoughts sets you on this path. Just knowing that 21 days is, is a blip, but just knowing that 21 days from now, I will. I can actually in, uh, influence the DNA with inside my body just by writing down my and, and writing down and read, reciting, re reading these uh, affirmations. Just by if you go out for a walk, if you have a dog, you take your dog out for a walk. Just the act of meditating while you're walking, just thinking as if you already are you 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 embody these affirmations you already are that that you want to be or do or have walking your dog 
you're taking a shower, you're laying in bed. This is key. It's another key. Laying in bed, not just waking up when you wake up in the morning, but lay there for a few minutes and just think of yourself. Act as if or think as if you already are laying in the bed in the, the new house. You can close your eyes and you visualize what the house looks like. The bedroom, what does it look like? You're going to go downstairs into your kitchen. What does the kitchen look like? You know, where, what does a coffee maker look like? Where is it located? Is it an island? Do you have an island kitchen in the kitchen? Is it an open concept? Do you have a nice long driveway? Do you have a Mercedes or Range Rover in that driveway? These are the images you want to start to develop within yourself, in your mind. If you're somebody on here who is maybe struggling with substance abuse, see yourself being sober for the morning. And then how would you act? How would a person who's sober act? What would they, how would they walk? What would they look like? What would they wear? How would they interact with others? These are the thoughts that we want to start to embed in our mind. But at first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, it starts with recognizing and taking hold of the thoughts we do not want in our mind anymore, the old thoughts, we want to get rid of them. Another meditation when you're walking your dog or you're taking a shower could be meditate, see yourself laying down and you open up your head and you're just, all the old thoughts are just coming out of your head. There's almost like a bowl. You're taking all the thoughts, they're just spilling out of your head. And you're filling them up with all new thoughts. Empowering thought. The disempowering thoughts are leaving. And you're filling up this bowl inside your head with all new empowering thoughts. So this is the message this evening, guys. Is become conscious of what's been so unconscious for so long. Start to catch those thoughts that you do not want in your mind anymore. You don't want them to cross in and then come out here through your mouth anymore. And if they do, you catch them. And I've said before in previous uh, videos, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, this is your first time listening to me, go ahead, hit, go ahead and hit the subscribe, uh, subscribe button and the notification bell, and you can go back and you know, look at my library of videos. But here's the other thing. A refractory period is what Joe, Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about. A refractory period is the time it takes between when a thought enters into our consciousness and the amount of time it takes for us to capture that thought, recognize it, and say, okay, I'm gonna get rid of that thought. The, the, the distance between the two is referred as a refractory period. And the shorter that period, the, the, the more aware we become. And the more aware we become, the more serendipities start taking place and showing up in our life. So that's our message for you this evening, guys. Become conscious of what has been for so long unconscious. And in doing so, you not only start to change the DNA within inside your, on your cellular level, you start to put yourself on a path where everything starts to change. Thank you so much for watching. As always, everybody who has subscribed to this to this channel, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And any newcomers, congratulations. Welcome aboard. Feel free to share this video and any of my videos with others because the more people see these types of videos, the healthier this world becomes. One video, one share at a time. God bless.